In this session, we're going to take a look at another significant improvement in Corel Draw X6, and that is styles, style sets, and the object styles docker. We'll take a look at that here by going to tools and coming down to object styles. That will open up the object styles docker for you. We want to take a look at styles, style sets, and default object properties. You'll notice if you click on these, nothing happens. But if you click on the little arrow to the left, that'll expand those for you. First thing I want to do is take a look at default graphic properties. We've got a number of different things here. Artistic media, artistic text, call out, dimension, graphic, paragraph text. Take a look at graphic. You can see here that we've got some settings that come out in the bottom of the docker after you click on the graphic here. Or the word graphic, a little icon next to it. And we see here we've got a hairline outline and we've got no fill. Now I'll go over here to the toolbar, I'll select the rectangle tool and I'll just create a simple rectangle. And you can see that that rectangle has the properties from the default object properties. Now if I change the hairline to say three points and I change the fill to a uniform fill of say a blue and then I create yet another rectangle, left click, hold down, I've changed the properties of this default object. And you can go ahead and change that back if you like, or you can come up here and click on revert to new document default. And that'll send that back to its original settings when the document was opened. You can also change your artistic text. You can see it's set to 24 points. If I get my text tool and create some artistic text, and I'll just go T-E-X-T, -E that comes in at 24. But if I change this to 40, and then I type in T-E-X-T, -E you can see it's now 40. And once again, I can click on revert here. Or I can come over here and set as new document default, which that means anytime I open a document, that's the properties I'm going to get for artistic text. So I'll go ahead and revert here and we'll go back to 24 and I'll go ahead and select all of this. I didn't want that rectangle there. I'll hit Control Z, just lasso everything here and I'll delete it. Go ahead and minimize this and let's go ahead and create a style so we can see what a style is. There's a difference between styles and style sets. Styles is typically just one property. Style sets gives you the ability to select multiple properties, but we're going to create a style with a fill. And I'll come over here to uniform fill and we'll make this a red. I'll create a rectangle and I'm also going to create some text. Just so we can see the differences here and so we'll understand how this works. Now you'll notice that once I've got this selected, even though the style is fill too, I've got the text selected, I can't apply it. But I can apply it to a rectangle, apply selected. And the reason is that if you're going to have a text style, it has to come in, and I'll go ahead and plus here, a character. It has to be done as a character. And I'll change this to, let's say, a red. Now I have this character one style, and I can apply that. Also, I can name my styles. So if I click here and then click again, I could call this red text just so that I know what it is. Click off and I can apply this to my text but you'll notice that when I do that it changed the point size, font size down to 24 points because it applies all of the properties in the style. Now if I click on my rectangle I can't apply that obviously because it's not a character. However, if we look at style sets and we'll go down here and we'll go ahead and take this text. I'm just going to fill this with a black and I'm going to bring this up here and put this in here. And we're going to create a style set, which really allows you to apply multiple styles to multiple objects at the same time. And I'm going to go ahead and plus here. And from here, I've got style set two. I'm going to go ahead and add an outline. I'm going to click here again. And I'm going to add a fill. And then I'm going to add a character. Now for my outline, I'm going to give it a outline of let's say three. I'm going to give it a color of let's say blue. I'm going to round my corners and end caps. 
Then for my fill, I'm going to come down here and get a fill of, let's say, red. Then I can scroll down here to my character. I'm going to change my character to, let's say, 36.0 points. I'm going to give my character a white fill. I'm going to give my character a two-point outline. And I'm going to give that outline color a blue also. Now, I've got a number of different properties associated with this style. It's almost like a group of styles. And if I select everything here, you'll notice I can apply. And if I go ahead and apply, those adjustments are made. Now, once the styles are applied, if you go into a style and edit it, let's say if we change the font from Arial to Freshman, it'll be automatically applied to that style. Now I want to take a look at the right click here because we can get to some things here also. We don't have to always go to the docker. If we have styles set up in a document, we can get to them through the object styles in your flyout here. And I'm going to go ahead and move this up just so we can see everything in the video. Right click, object styles. And you'll see I can apply a style and all of my styles are listed there. I can edit a style. I can create a new style from my selection. I can apply new style set from, which is basically if I had another set of objects, I could copy it from there. Apply to style, revert to style, or I could break my link to the style. Now if I break the link to the style, then if I come over here and change back to say Arial, it won't affect that because it's not linked to the style anymore. A little bit complicated, but once you understand how to work with all this, It'll be very powerful for you, especially if you're working with flyers and documents or some type of graphic design work where you've got something set up the same way. Like perhaps you've got a logo in a document and the foot of the page on a 50 page document with certain colors and you've set that up as a style and the client wants to change the color of their logo. Instead of clicking your way through 50 pages, you open up your style, change the color in your style and it's automatically applied to all 50 pages. And we'll take a look at that here. Go ahead and take a look at a actual catalog that I've got set up in this document. And here's the cover. It's from our Spring Sports catalog, which had a number of design templates and catalogs that we put together for it. Now that was set up in X4 and X5, but here I've set it up in X6 with styles, which we're going to see just how powerful this is. I've, this catalog is just set up with some t-shirt templates and some photorealistic comps for our clients to send out to the schools and coaches. Now let's say we had things set up as styles. For example, these two blue shirts here are set up as a style. Now if I wanted to change all the blue shirts in the document, I have to go through page by page, clicking my way through, changing all the colors. But because I've set these up as styles, I can go here to blue shirt and I'll go to my fill, which is actually down here. But We'll just click on fill here and that'll be just a fill area of that style. Now what I can do is I can change this and it will be updated throughout the entire design. Let's say I want to make my blue shirts a gray. Just go ahead and release and now my blue shirts are gray. If I go ahead and click here I can change the name blue to gray for that style sake. So I'll go G-R-A-Y. I always get confused between G-R-A-Y and G-R-E-Y but and we'll go ahead and click off. I've also got what is a number background set up here. And this particular background is set up. And you can scroll up. When you see the bottom here, you can just scroll right up in here in this docker. But that's the background color, this rectangle behind the design number. And we set up all these designs with numbers so that clients could call and say, we'd like design number two. Now, let's say you're setting this up and sending it to schools, and one school their color is blue and white and you've customized it to the school but you want to send out to another school well you can customize it to their school colors the entire document without going around clicking on everything let's say another school's color is red and white well then you can come up here to the red and update that and change that to a red color as you can see right there and it will do it throughout the entire document if we go back here on the next page we'll see that that same red has been applied there now, there's a little difference between styles and style sets, and I've got some style sets here on page 7. So we'll go ahead and just click through to page 5, page 6, and here's page 7. 
Now we'll take a look at this. This is actually set up as a style set with the text and the color. And I've got that down here. We'll scroll down and we got t-shirt numbers. And you can see here's my fill color, which is a blue. If I wanted to change that to a red, just go like that, and it changes throughout the entire document. If I want to change the character, come up here and click on the A. And let's say the school's font is a different font. Let's say that school prefers the font bullpen. They use that all the time. Go ahead and change the font to bullpen, and all my fonts will be changed to bullpen, as you can see there. Now let's say I wanted to change the size of that from 12 to, let's say, 16. Hit enter, and now I've got a bigger font in there. So you can see the power of styles because it goes throughout the entire document when you apply that. Now if I go to page 8, we'll see the same application. Now I probably went too big there, and I would have had to move that over. But I didn't have to go through clicking on everything and changing everything manually because I was working with styles. So we can see the power of this styles and our ability to manage what's going on with our graphics and our layouts in documents and also in other areas of graphic design work. So we'll go ahead and wrap here, but this is the new styles available in the CorelDRAW X6 upgrade. And we'll see you in our next video.